this is Randy Sprinklers again and here we are going to do a little, something a little bit different so the last time you saw this sprinkler it had this arm in there and um, it just didn't work very well so I said well I want to get let's say this particular body and assembly with the journal tube and uh, the sleeve and journal tube all working so whatever reason it didn't want to work with this arm and something that's i'm still not positive about the um, alignment of these arms because see i did experimenting back in the day so i'm going to so i'm trying to line these all up side by side so the one that I've been using here is completely straight and these other two have a nice curve to the right um, which only seems to make sense to me. Now I don't know if I modified those two or if I modified this one but the problem is this one didn't work. Now, these two might work. I don't know yet. But to prove out that the body and configuration is good, I took and put a P5 arm. Um, this is the PJ arm that Rainbird made. So this was the second plastic arm that they came out with the spoon arm which i have um and i don't like it at all but this particular arm does a beautiful job and we're going to see if it works on this body so that is my next test so we're going to go and take off the sprinkler that's sitting there now and put it to the test. So we're gonna take this one off. And this one worked just fine. This one I wound up modifying just in case you um, want to see. Come on. The uh, nozzle is um, drilled out and it makes the sprinkler work really well. Now this one, which with the normal uh, Blackbird uh, brass arm that it came with hasn't been working in all the tests that I've been doing so this is going to prove out that this arm the PJ arm which is actually quite good And even with this um, deflector all the way down. So I have the water on already. Oh, it's off again. All right. Well, let me go turn it back on.
and even with the deflector down, it doesn't um, doesn't block the uh, screen very well. All right, so let's reverse the. I don't know what the, I mean, you can see this is vibrating like crazy. So don't think it like my O ring. Yeah, I don't know whether it's the O-ring that was throwing it down, or... I like the way the arm works. moved faster when I had my finger on it. Now I'm actually pushing down a little bit on it and you can see it just it moves a lot quicker. probably removed or a wash to get a need to remove. So that helps me um they say debug the problems that I've been having with this body and uh journal tube and flea. And in this case the body is fine. 
uh, other than the fact that even though this is basically down as far as it will go, because you can't screw this down anymore. I mean, it's like that's it's screwed down. I wish I had more of those arms. Now I do have uh, two other brand sprinklers out there that are indications of that arm. Um, and they work just fantastic. Um, like I said, that particular arm design is an excellent design. And of course, Rainbow knew what they were doing. And again, you see the water shooting out towards the front rather than to the side, like it's supposed to. This is great. Uh, let's take a look at it from a, a different position. I find it interesting when the sprinkler is running, there's only about 20 pounds of, of pressure. Um, as soon as I um, turn the water off with the faucet or with the uh, valve that I have here, uh, it goes up to about 50 or 55 pounds of pressure. And as you can see, I have a, a new sandpipe. I um, changed the elbow down there from a half inch to three quarter. And so I have three quarter going all the way around until I get to the sprinkler, of course. So with this success, I am going to say, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and please press the like button, and if you uh, haven't made a comment, please do, I appreciate the comment, and thank you for, for watching my videos. And uh, if you uh, take a little extra time to read the details that I put in the comments or in the detail portion of the um, of the video, usually there's a lot of lot of additional information or information I might might have provided here in the video and you didn't get a chance to see or didn't get, or didn't hear. So uh, the ten minutes is off and. Uh, the sprinkler is done and we will call it a finished video. See you next time, I hope.